Today, I've got 10 stock trout fishing hacks that are awesome that are gonna help you catch more trout. What is up out there, Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel to the latest stock trout fishing tips video where today, we're gonna talk about everything, hacks and tricks when it comes to stock trout fishing. Now, as an angler, I love learning new things and finding ways to be more efficient in my preparation and out on the water when it comes to chasing stock trout. Now, whether you're new into stock trout fishing or you're someone who's been doing it a while, I have just the 10 hacks and tricks for you. Now, hack number 10 is to store your bait at room temperature or in the fridge so your eggs don't spoil. Now, when it comes to chasing stock trout, we all have the staples of power bait and eggs of all different kinds from different brands. And one of the things that you don't want to do is to have your bait get ruined, especially on those super hot 100 degree days where you've got your bait sitting out there, it's going to start to melt and the eggs are going to start to wilter. But when you're done fishing, one of the best ways to keep your baits as fresh as possible, especially when we're talking about power bait and salmon and trout eggs is to keep those eggs in the fridge nice and cool nice and tight so they don't wilter or get spoiled and ruined and then when it comes to power bait you want to keep that at room temperature because if you keep it in the heat or you keep it too cold in the garage the big temperature fluctuations are going to have an impact in the consistency and how soft or how hard that power bait could be so keeping it at room temperature is critical now if the power bait's a little bit dried out one hack and trick that you can do is to add a little bit of droplet of water mix it in there with your finger to re hydrate power bait to have that little bit dry of power bait come back to life so you can finish off the jar and use it to catch some big old stock trout. Now hack number nine is to add a swivel between your leader and your main line to avoid line twists when you're casting spinners, spoons, and other metal baits to catch some trout. Now there's nothing more frustrating when it comes to chasing trout and doing a bunch of casts over and over again than getting line twist and you've got a mess of line, your reel's all jacked up, your bait's not fishing right, and you could be more frustrated than anything else when you're out fishing. But one of the best ways to avoid that is to add a little swivel, maybe 18 to 24 inches between your hook and your main line on your leader. That way you avoid line twist and your casts are gonna be a lot smoother and your technique's gonna be a lot better. You're gonna be able to place that bait in the perfect position on every single cast to get that big bite exactly where those trout are gonna be hanging out in the body of water that you're fishing. And it doesn't have to be a big swivel. It can be a very tiny swivel. Again, you're just trying to avoid line twist, which can be super frustrating and a huge headache to strip off line and to reline your reels after after a bunch of line twists, that could suck a lot. Now coming in at hack number eight is to use old bottle caps as fishing lures. That's right, you can reuse bottle caps as fishing lures and baits that you could cast or use trolling for trout. And this is not an original hack or something that I just came up with. This has been around for a while. And the reason why I love bottle caps is they're mostly silver or brown, which is a color that trout absolutely love. But then the logo colors on the different bottle caps can give you a variety of different baits that you can create on your own. So all you need is some bottle caps, a drill, some split rings and then a hook at the end to just attach it all together and just make some assorted baits. It's really fun. It's a great project to get the kids involved and it's reusing some bottle caps. If you got those lying around like I do, just reuse them and I dare you and challenge you to see if you can catch some trout on some bottle caps. Now for any of you nighttime or early morning anglers, hack number seven is right up your alley. And that is to use UV paint or UV tape on the tips of your rod so it's easier to see the bite, especially when you're bank fishing. I cannot tell you how many times in low light water conditions that I miss seeing a bite because I can't see my rod tip because it is just too damn dark out there and it's really hard to see. So one way to avoid that is to get some nice light UV paint right near the top. Now not on the eyelids, but on the top of the rod and that'll give you a clear line of sight to seeing that tip flutter and move and maybe go down really hard when you've got a good trout on. And again, you can use some thin tape or some light UV paint and brush it on there nice and carefully. But one word of caution, do not paint your rod in the boat because if you spill the paint, that stuff is really hard to get out of the boat. And as I always say, don't ask me how I know. 
Now on to hack number six, having to do with the line on your reel. And that is to only take off half the line when you need to change out and put new line on. Now the reason why you would only take off half of the line on your reel is you can use the line that's already on there as quote unquote backing. It's just extra line on there that you're never really gonna use unless a, unless a trout absolutely strips you or you land into some other fish species and it takes a lot of line out. What the backing can do by leaving half of the line on is is that you don't have to spend as much putting and relining an entire reel with brand new line. Leave half the line on, attach a uni to uni knot for your new line, and then reel on and spool on your new line. So use the old line for backing and then attach the new line and that's what you're able to fish with a ton. And if you start to reduce that over time, you can just strip all that off and then put new line on again and it's much easier than stripping all the line off of the reel and having to add it in. That's a lot of extra money that you're wasting and this way it's cost savings and saves you time having to reline all your reels especially when you got 20 of them to reline every single year now hack number five is one of my favorites and something I love to do all the time watching a TV show or just something on the couch hanging out with my family and my dogs, which is to pre-tie leaders and lines so that when you're out on the water, you can switch them really easily and have pre-tied baits and leaders and rigged up and ready to go. So if you're a bank angler, having pre-tied leaders is perfect when you've got a plunking setup, you're fishing bobber and eggs, something underneath a bobber that you're tying to a swivel, pre-tying your leaders is a great way to save you a lot of time. You already have them pre-made so you just need to take them out of the package if you're swapping them out on the water and if you break off for some reason you can just tie a new one on super super quickly and it saves you a lot of time on the water and you're getting your gear back out there especially when there's a hot bite. Pre-tied leaders are critical. If you're spending time two to three minutes having to retie a rig you might be missing a really good bite and the bite may turn off which has happened before to me when I've had to retie a leader when I broke off on a log when there's tons of fish around and then guess what happens after that? The bite goes cold and you missed out because you didn't get your gear back in the water. And another hack for pre-tied leaders is you can use a pool noodle to pre-tie and put the line around so you have them all in one area or use those baggage storage containers that a lot of bass fishermen use. You can put one pre-tied leader in every single little plastic slot so you can carry them with you really easily and they're ready to go all the time. Now for hack number four, if you don't want to spend $5 a jar, if it's super expensive to buy Powerbait or any other knockoff Powerbait version, you know what? You should just make your own Powerbait dill recipe at home. Now there's plenty of DIY Powerbait recipes out there with just ingredients that you can get from the store and make your own version of the Powerbait. And then one of the great ways of doing that is you can make different versions with different colors. And if you make them scentless, you can add on attractants like Procure before you toss it out to really customize and then make your own power bait combination but with things that you can get from the store and it's a much cheaper version it allows you to also tinker around and play with some different color scent combinations and go out and do some really cool experimenting but two words of caution if you're gonna make your own power bait at home one don't make it in the kitchen and make a mess don't ask me how I know and how many times I've been yelled at by my wife doing that and then number two be careful about how much glitter you add because it's going to get all over and yes I'm still fighting glitter five years later in my house in my boat in my bag from the last batch that I made. Stock trout fishing hack number three is to use wine corks as bobbers in your own DIY bobber setup. Now corks are a great way to make your own DIY bobbers. You can drill a hole through them easily. You can put some wiring and some beads on each end of these. You can kind of customize and there's multiple different ways out there where you can put little plugs in there, but easily make your own homemade custom float for trout fishing. And with wine corks, these obviously float and you can paint them super bright colors so when you cast them out there on the water they're easily noticeable to find plus they're kind of a natural brown color so they'll mix in a little bit on the water especially on off color days these are perfect to blend in and not spook the fish if you use bobbers with wine corks 
Now coming in at hack number two is to utilize materials and make your own DIY bank fishing rod holder. That's right, you can use PVC, a couple screws, nuts, a bolt, a washer, and something that's pointy and sharp to push into the ground and you can have your very own recycled materials DIY bank fishing rod holder. Now with things being very expensive these days, there's no reason that you need to go down to your local store and buy a 10, 15, sometimes $20 rod holder for bank fishing. That is absolutely freaking ridiculous. There should be materials out there. You can go to reuse it stores and get used materials and make your own rod holder. They're super simple. You can customize it. You can put colors on it. You can put stickers on your rod holder and it's an inexpensive, easy way to create multiple rod holders for bank fishing. And it's a cool gift idea for anybody in your family that loves fishing. Hook them up with one of these and they can customize it and make it their own. So we've now gone through nine stock trout fishing hacks and tricks. We got one last one and it's an awesome one, which is to take a few pebbles in your hand, throw them out in the water when you go out fishing and see if a bunch of trout hit the surface. Cause that means that the lake, the pond, the water that you're fishing recently has some stock trout. So I learned this hack from another fishing guy, which is to take some little pebbles in your hand and you want to throw them in the water. Because if you see a lot of trout bust the surface, they think they're getting booed pellets like they would at the fish hatchery or wherever they're being born. And so if you throw some little rocks and pebbles out there and the trout react and there's a bunch hitting the surface, it gives you the indication that this place and that body of water is loaded with fresh stock trout. So there you guys have it, 10 hacks and tricks to help you be a better stock trout fishing angler and help you catch more trout on the water. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, the outdoors is a gift, share it with others.